This poem is called Big Fish. True story. I worked out twice over winter break. The first, my good friend Jamie dragged me to the Jewish community center to work out with him. Ah, the JCC. The smell of newly delivered weight machines mixed with the Lysol mist in the air, warm Jewish bodies dripping sweat onto treadmills. With me and Jamie, we didn't have time for distractions. We were there for two reasons, chest and tries. So after a quick stretch and a warm up in the other room, we graced through push-ups. Impressed, the old man watching us through the chest press. Flexed out, bulging muscles at the Jewish females across the room, <laughs> pretending not to look. We lifted free weights at the mirror, watching our muscles bounce as articulated in the Muscle Man magazine at our feet. Working out was easy and fun, and we went home with a bounce in our step, ready to kick the shit out of any man who would challenge our muscly Yes. Or by your question, how good we looked with our shirts off. Five days later, after the sole began to wear off from my JCC lifting showcase, my good friend Max picked me up and drove me to the local YMCA. The YMCA. <laughs> Young Men's Christian Association. I had heard of it in legends. The lockjaw creak of rust moving up and down the machines. Swarms of young warriors ready to get their daily doses of self-inflicted pain. The pools of sweat on the ground demarcating individual territories and Max. With a huge smile on his face. Five, two. Fingers twitching with anticipation. He looked at me to double check that I was ready to go and I responded, shrouding the cockiness in my voice and I said to him, I think we should stretch first. While stretching, I observed the gym regulars going through the routine of making their regularness known to all who cared to be an audience. There was the pro with his laptop set up in front of him, exhibiting muscle-bound men doing push-ups of the fanciest kind while he mirrored every motion with his black 265-pound body panting as if he were being recorded. He puts the laptop on pause, stands up, flexing his bulging neck muscles, huge shoulders, massive chest, and even more bulging er, huge er, massive er, er, stomach, flopped over his athletic shorts, and he walks over to a couple of ladies and says to one of them, Bitch, you'll never be as big as me. You don't got any testosterone in your body. And he walks away. True story. As I began my weighted crunches, the two men stand there, waiting patiently. One man looks about 26, his muscle t-shirt showcasing his kegs of biceps. Disappointingly, the only defining muscle of his otherwise beer gut ex-athlete body. Standing next to his cool, older brother. Hair, cut down to a buzz. A look of weathered confidence in his eyes. His skin-tight gray workout shirt flexed muscles bigger than I had ever seen live that followed him down his sculpted helicopter chest, his cannon biceps and machine gun forearms, his waterboard abs. With thighs, the width of tires, and calves as hard as hand grenades, we had finally met the king of this castle. And Max notices that these two people have been using the same machines that we have been using for about the last three exercises that we have done. And jocularly, Max looks the tough guy in the eye and says, you don't need to follow us around to copy our exercises. I can just write them down for you. <laughs> for a moment, the sound of sweat dripping from the pro's headband stops. The ghetto professional ceases mid-pull-up, sidekick dangling off of his waist. The treadmill milfs stop running, and the bicep boys hold their arms still, clenching their dumbbells with a slightly stronger grip. The king looks at us, his left eye, now looking a little bit bigger than the right, picks up his forefinger as a bayonet extending from his arm, points it at me and Max and says, copy of you? Copy of you? I'm a fucking Marine! Any workout that you ever do is copying me! I've been in the Marines for 
the last 10 years. I've seen shit you've never seen. I fucking kill people. Matter of fact, I just got back from fucking Iraq a fucking week ago. I fucking killed some Iraqi motherfuckers there. I Pepsi challenge both of you bitches right now. <laughs> and in my awe and fear and confusion, I was unable to hold my tongue. I blurted it out. What's a Pepsi challenge? <laughs> and his face lit up. I'll fucking push you at anything, anywhere, ever. Fucking pull-ups, push-ups, crunches, bench press, whatever. And I outweigh you by like 60 pounds. And I'm almost 30. What? <laughs> Max and I laughed quietly and left the inclined bench for the king and his brother. We finished our ab workout in the aerobics room, <laughs> while some middle schoolers giggled and ran past us. We didn't look in any mirrors, didn't look at any Muscle Man magazines, and left the gym with our brows wet, a slight smirk across both of our faces, with our pride right where it was supposed to be.